With a muscular physique and an air of mystery, Andy is not your typical hero. His unique ability, known as Undead, grants him the power of immortality. No matter the injury, be it a minor scratch or a fatal wound, Andy can regenerate and come back to life. This power might sound like a blessing to many, but for Andy, it's a curse he's been trying to escape for centuries. As the story unfolds, we learn that Andy is a key member of a group called the Union. Within this organization, he holds a significant position as the Roundtable's number nine negator. The Union, with its diverse members, works in mysterious ways, and Andy's role in it is crucial. But what's even more fascinating about Andy is his connection to historical events. Rumors swirl around him, suggesting that he might have played a role in some of the world's most pivotal moments. One such event is the assassination of Abraham Lincoln. While the specifics are yet to be revealed, the mere implication of his involvement adds layers of depth to his character. In a world filled with supernatural abilities and unexpected twists, Andy stands out. His journey from seeking a permanent end to his life to forming genuine bonds and understanding his purpose shows his resilience and growth. As you dive deeper into Undead Unluck, you'll discover the complexities and charm of Andy, the man who's seen it all but still has so much more to explore. Warning! Spoilers ahead so watch out! Andy is more than just a strong figure. He possesses a unique power known as the Undead Ability. But what does this power entail? Undead Ability Andy's Undead Ability is a double-edged sword. On one hand, it grants him immortality, making him invincible to death. Whether he's run over, blown up, or injured in any other way, Andy can regenerate and bounce back to life. This might sound like the ultimate power, but it comes with its own set of challenges. Regeneration Ability Every superhero has a weakness, and for Andy, it's the nature of his injuries. As revealed during his battle with Shin's former master, Fong, Andy's regeneration is selective. Only fatal wounds, or injuries that cause him to bleed, trigger his regenerative powers. Minor injuries, like a dislocation, won't heal automatically. This is because his body doesn't recognize them as life-threatening. Beyond his physical abilities, Andy's mind is one of his greatest assets. He possesses an incredible analytical skill. With this, Andy can quickly decipher the powers and rules of other negators and you maze unidentified mysterious animals. This quick-wittedness allows him to strategize and adapt in battles, giving him an edge over his opponents. While Andy's undead ability makes him a formidable force, it's not without its limitations. His selective regeneration and reliance on fatal injuries to heal can be a vulnerability in battles. However, his sharp analytical skills balance out his physical weaknesses, making him a well-rounded and intriguing character. Andy is a complex individual with a rich tapestry of emotions, motivations, and development. Let's delve into the core aspects of his character. At the start of the series, Andy's primary goal is straightforward. He wants to die. Despite his undead ability granting him immortality, he yearns for a permanent end. This desire is so strong that he believes Foucault's unluck might be the key to achieving this elusive death. Initially, Andy's interest in Foucault was purely selfish, hoping her power could help him achieve his goal. However, as the story unfolds, a genuine bond forms between them. Their relationship evolves from one of convenience to genuine care and affection. Foucault becomes more than just a means to an end for Andy. She becomes someone he genuinely cares about. Joining the Union was a turning point for Andy. Initially, he joined with a single-minded focus on his goal. But his interactions with the Union members, especially Foucault, broadened his perspective. He realized that there's more to life than just seeking death. His time with the Union taught him the value of camaraderie, purpose, and fighting for a cause. This is evident when he says, I met you and joined the Union on a whim, but now that I've gotten to know those guys, I've changed my mind. You don't need to accept, give up, or double down on anything. You can fight. Andy is not one to stay silent or sulk in a corner. He's lively, always looking for fun, and often exclaims his catchphrase, sick, wicked sick. This boisterous nature often hides his deeper feelings and the pain of his immortality. On the surface, Andy might come off as abrasive and disrespectful, especially towards Foucault. But beneath this exterior lies a heart of gold. He genuinely cares for Foucault's well-being and often shows a softer, more compassionate side that contradicts his rough exterior. A significant twist in the story is when Anno alters Andy's memories. 
This intervention creates an alternate past where Andy and Foucault met much earlier in his life. While these memories are fake, they influence Andy profoundly. They allow him to explore new techniques and uses for his undead ability, all thanks to Foucault's influence in these fabricated memories. Andy's journey in Undead Unluck is one of growth and self-discovery. From a man obsessed with finding a way to die to someone who learns the value of relationships and purpose, Andy's character development is evidence to the intricate storytelling of the series. Andy is not just unique in his abilities, but also in his appearance and behavior. Let's explore the distinct features and quirks that make Andy stand out. One of the most noticeable features of Andy is the card jammed into his forehead. This isn't just a style statement, it acts as a power limiter, keeping his vast memories in check and preventing him from turning into Victor. Andy doesn't have eyebrows, which gives him a distinct, somewhat primitive appearance. This lack of brows accentuates his intense expressions and adds to his unique look. Despite his regenerative abilities, Andy has two permanent scars, one on his forehead, where the card is placed, and another over his heart. These scars are remnants from a past battle with Jewise and serve as a constant reminder of his tumultuous past. Andy's regenerative abilities don't extend to his clothes. As a result, in the early chapters, he often finds himself fighting in the nude after sustaining significant damage. While this might be embarrassing for many, Andy doesn't bat an eye. He's a shameless fanservice guy, unfazed by his constant state of undress, much to the discomfort of those around him, especially Foucault. Realizing the inconvenience, and perhaps the constant distraction, of his clothing situation, Andy eventually acquires Yume clothes. These special clothes have the ability to regenerate just like Andy, ensuring he remains clothed during battles. From the outset, Andy's interactions with Foucault are unconventional. He lacks a sense of personal space, often touching her without hesitation. His initial intent isn't malicious, he's trying to understand and experiment with her unluck ability. This includes actions like fondling her chest, which, while aimed at triggering her power, are undoubtedly inappropriate. Over time, as their bond strengthens, their interactions evolve, but Andy's initial behavior showcases his blunt and straightforward nature. Andy's appearance and quirks are a reflection of his character's complexity. From his unique physical features to his indifferent attitude towards nudity and his unconventional interactions with Foucault, Andy is a character that leaves a lasting impression. Andy's journey is shaped by his unique desires and the weight of centuries on his shoulders. Let's explore his goals, motivations, and what lies ahead for him. At the core of Andy's character is a deep desire for a permanent end. While most fear the idea of death, Andy, with his undead ability, yearns for it. This power makes him immortal, allowing him to bounce back from any harm. But instead of cherishing this gift, he sees it as a curse and wants to experience a true end. Beyond the grand idea of experiencing death, Andy's wish is quite straightforward. He doesn't dream of a heroic or tragic demise. He simply hopes to grow old and pass away after living a contented life. This shows that beneath his tough exterior, Andy has a heart with simple desires. Andy isn't new to the world. He's lived for over 200 years. Imagine the changes he's seen, the history he's witnessed, and the countless memories he's gathered. Living for centuries isn't just about the number of years, it's about the emotional baggage, the memories, and the weight of outliving many. This long life shapes his perspective and fuels his desire for a permanent end. After a significant event in the series, Andy sets out on a new mission, to find as many artifacts as possible. These aren't just any artifacts, they hold power and secrets that might be the key to fulfilling Andy's wish. As he travels the world in search of these items, we are left wondering, Will he find the artifact that grants his wish? What challenges will he face? The future is uncertain for Andy. With his current mission of finding artifacts, there's hope and anticipation. Will these artifacts lead him to his desired end? Or will they open up new chapters in his already long life? Only time will tell. But one thing is sure, Andy's journey, with its mix of adventure, challenges, and self-discovery, will keep us hooked. In conclusion, Andy's story is a blend of contrasts. An immortal man seeking death, a warrior with a simple wish, and a centuries-old being on a modern quest. His goals, motivations, and potential future make him a fascinating character in the series.